Hey guys, what's up? Mystical from acupofdeath.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to mod your League of Legends game. And by mod, I mean either change either change your map skin or your character, your champion skin. Now the first thing we need to do is go to mapskins.com as you can see here in the address bar, mapskins.com and we're going to want to go to the Wooksy tab. The Wooksy tab is the actual software. Uh, you can see right here, Wooksy is our software made by Chewy. These are the same people that did Yurixy Works. If you watch my old video on how to do these map skins and stuff, uh, they just changed websites. They actually made some new software and stuff and actually made it a lot easier than it was before. Okay, so you're going to want to download Wooksy. Like I said, it's their software made by Chewy that lets you install every skin, maps, or champions for League of Legends. Wooksy combines three main ideas, safety, speed, simplicity. So, okay, you're going to download the latest version. Which if you scroll down, you'll see the latest version has a chain log and everything, but you're going to want the latest version. You'll download it. Probably it's going to download to your downloads folder unless you've changed where you did download it to. If you did change where you downloaded it to, then it won't be in your downloads folder, but you should know where it's going to be at. I got mine under Mapskin shit, so there's the Wookiee setup. You would install that program, okay? And then once you install that program, here's what it looks like. Wooksy, LOL skin installer, verifying. It loads up. On the right side, you have all their latest skins. Um, whether, again, it's for the actual software, as you can see here today, the 22nd of November 2015. They actually just did an update to the Wooksy software to 1.2. They got a Challenger HUD you can install. So actually, there is a little bit more than just map skins and um, champion skins. See here, there's a Shredder Z, etc. But you have a skins button, creation studio, and settings. We'll go through these real quick. I'm starting at the bottom. With the settings, it just lets you change where your League of Legends folder is. Has a couple more options. Skin sort in if you want to do them by installation state, meaning, you know, or the date um, of when you imported the skin. You can do by thumbnails, classic list, save settings, etc. Not a lot of options, just a couple. The main thing is just where is the League of Legends folder. Okay, the creation studio, as you can see here, it says use a bunch of tools, not yet, that will help you do your own skins. Uh, this is not, there's nothing here yet. As you can see, Files Extractor, that's the only tool. Um, but this is where they're going to be adding tools that will allow you to actually make your own skins for the game. And then under the skin section is where, the, this is the important part of the software. This is where you actually install, uninstall, or delete skins or add new skins to Wooksy. So if you go here to the skins, you'll see I have one map skin installed, which is called Original Winter Rift by ChewyMapSkins.com. And down here you can see there's a home button and the import skin. So first, how do you get the skins? Well, let's go back to the website mapskins.com. You can see here they have some tabs at the top. They have a maps and champion. Um, they also have the front page which has the latest skins and mods. Um, and you can also see here the feature map skin. So there's different ways to look, but we need to grab some type of skin. So to show this, I'm gonna go to maps and we're gonna download the original Winter Rift, which I have already done and you saw it in my thing. Um, so I will actually download just to show you the install. Let's see. We'll download Which one do we want? Which one do I want? Let's see. Let's get the Fallen Rift. All right, let's do that <coughs> So Fallen Rift We don't care about any of this other crap We just want the install download and install. Okay, so we can download Fallen Rift it's downloaded in the zip file, 134 megabytes there. You can see it tells you exactly what to do. Again, it is real simple now. You download the skin. I clicked that link in Wooksy, okay? So we'll go back to Wooksy while this is downloaded. You can see here, like I said, you go to the skins section. So click on skins, import skins, add package, and select the downloaded zip file. So that's all there is to it. So once it's done downloading, almost, we go to skins in Wooksy. You go to import skin. And it'll say add files to your skin. So you can select LOL files, select LOL files or a folder that contains LOL files. For example, DDS or skin files, or select a package. We're gonna select a package because we don't even wanna unzip this thing. We can do it right from a zip form. So we click on add package. Again, it's downloaded for me to my downloads folder, Fallen Rift version one by this person's name, pen taken one. We double click that, it's open in the package. Tells you how you know the percentage and everything adds it fallen rift right there. You click it, you click install. 
Again, I already have the original Winter Rift um, skin installed. So if you do have it installed, you can just click the uninstall button and then install one. A couple quick notes while we're here, only because you know I know people have these issues and stuff, but there is a couple things you want to watch for, and that is, here's what I would recommend doing with skins for League of Legends. Whenever you get ready to play a game, go ahead and install a skin, whatever skins you want to play with. Whenever you get done playing with League of Legends for the day, my suggestion before you get off your computer would be to go back into um, Woxy, Wooxy, whatever you want to call it, and uninstall your skin. Okay? So it's that simple, but just uninstall them all. The reason for this is, um, I don't know if this is still an issue or not, to be honest, because I just do it this way. But a problem a lot of people had with the original software and stuff is when they would go into their game, anytime there would be a patch or anything for League of Legends, people would run into issues with having um, like their whole backgrounds and everything being like this bright blue color and fucking everything up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't know why I launched that. We don't actually want to launch this yet because I uninstalled the skin. So first, let me reinstall the skin. So I'm going to install Original Winter Rift. I just added Fallen Sky for you guys to see. So I'm going to install Original Winter Rift. It's installed. We can close out of Wook, so you don't have to leave that running or anything. Now we want to load up our game, and I'll show you guys what the skin looks like in-game here. All right, guys, we are loaded in. So here you can see we now have the skin installed. We are on Summoner's Rift, but as you can see, it is... Those who would harm us. Definitely different. You can see the towers are a little smaller. I mean, the update towers, you can see here all the stuff. We'll go up over here by the blue buff. You see lights flashing. Frozen waterways. You know, beautifulness, all frozen, all looking gorgeous. But this is the Winter's Rift. You see the different bases. Just kind of showing you guys a little bit. Like I said, I'm not actually going to play this game. Just wanted to give you guys some of the here with some of the lighting done too. Or the fog of war off since we're I'll just put on lock screen and walk around a bit so you can kind of see you know obviously are the skins as great as the new league of legends skins and stuff no are there going to be some errors yes for example you can see right here in this area uh on the newer league of legends maps this is actually cut pretty short you have just a little stout here as you see this goes here but on issues like this in the game you can actually We'll walk down here and show you. Again, I might clip some of this walk over. Look at the little toy soldier there. But the nice thing is, even if they are fucked up, as long as you know the maps, once you kind of get here, look, the minions got their little hats on and stuff. All right. But once you get here, if you know that the map ends, you know, like I said, in the thing that ends right here, you can still just go right through where it actually ends. Even though the old mile, you went like this, okay? So, you know, that's definitely an important thing to know. What a Mundo! And again, that works anywhere that the map might be a little off compared to what it, you know, normally is. Your guy will just walk through the stuff. So, that's it. That's how you install a skin. Super, super easy. Extremely easy. Like, I mean, for reals, it's easy. So, <coughs> recap... That's how you install the skin. It's easy. Again, once you're done with League of Legends, I personally would recommend going back into Wuxi, loading it back up, going back over to the skin section, and uninstalling the skin every time you're done playing. Again, you don't have to do that. That's just something I do because sometimes, anytime, mods can cause issues with games, especially with games that patch and update a lot. So it's always best to uninstall the skin Make sure you load up League of Legends before you go to play it, that all the patches or everything are updated. Close out of League of Legends, open back up Wuxi, install your skins, then reopen League of Legends. A little bit of a pain, but it just makes it so that you're sure you have no issues really, um, and it makes it so much easier and better. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If this video helped you guys out, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Uh, that way you can support us here at A Cup of Death. Some other ways you can report us is if you are into live streams, you can take a look at our live streams at twitch.tv slash a cup of death or twitch.tv slash mystical, which is mine. Or you can check out our other streamer, which is Amanda at twitch.tv slash magicgirl19. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Peace. Make sure you subscribe for more tutorial videos hitting you every Tuesday. Gives you the latest tips, tricks on how to succeed in streaming on Twitch.tv. Peace, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.